Hey, this is King David, David Live Music, and I want to quickly show you how to use stereo separation envelopes or stereo separation clips. Um, they're very simple to uh, actually add to your music, and what they do is they change the amount of stereo separation on a particular FX channel. Okay? Now, here's how it works. Let's see. First thing we'll do is we'll pick a channel. And let me play the track for you so you can, you can hear the overall track and then we'll go into that specific FX mixer insert and we'll show you how we did it. Here we go. Okay, so this is the track that we use stereo separation on. Okay, it's insert 18. If you go over to the insert, uh, to the stereo separation, you can see how it's moving left to right, right? And it's doing that automatically, which is really cool because you don't have to do anything to it once you set that automation clip. Now, let me show you how you do that. First of all, what you want to do is go to the stereo separation separator that's attached to that track okay and each track has its own stereo separator plus you have a master separation okay so what you'll do is go to that track go to the stereo separation and then right click slide down to create automation clip right left click on that and you'll get a burgundy or purple uh, separation envelope now when you first get it there will be a line that goes straight across the top and what you can do in order to begin to make changes in the stereo separator like you saw as you saw how it was vacillating from left to right is what you do is you left click on the line until you get a point and that's the point and then you can right click and drag that point up or down any way you want to what I did is evenly space out and evenly, evenly left clicked until I got a point All right, and then I raised it up and then I raise the next one down and then up and then down up down all the way to the end and I didn't want it to be too extreme I tried it first way up here and way down there and it was so extreme that I thought I wanted to be a little bit more subtle a lot of times your best music is made or adjusted in the subtle differences so a lot of times we, we want to go really loud we want to really really let people know that we're using effects but sometimes less is more and I'm sure you've heard that before okay alright so with less being more now we have a nice loop now there's another technique I want to show you so what happens is now that we set this you'll see that our stereo separator will start moving left to right watch this you see it pretty cool right all right so what it's doing is vacillating it's opening up and then it's closing all right which makes for a really nice effect and if you do it in time with the beat it can even add for an even more pulsating type effect in your music okay so we got that straight and I would just want to teach you one other little nugget all right now in between each of the points that you create you'll see a ball that looks like a circle and that is called a tension point all right what you can do is actually roll it up and down with your mouse to create what's called a spline curve. That's what it's called, S-P-L-I-N-E curve. And it makes the effect, trans, uh, the transition from uh, one point to the next makes it smooth. So you can smooth it out, see what happens. It just gives it a different effect. So now that knob will gradually turn up rather than quickly turn up. Make sense? All right, my name is King David, David Goliath Music, BeatClass.com. This has been a quick tutorial that teaches you how to use automation clips when it comes to stereo separation. All right, peace.
By the way, David and Goliath Music Beatclass.com, we help musicians learn music production all around the world every single day. Thank you. 